Stop thief! Could have timed that better. Okay, anyway, yeah, that was outside, folks. Okay, <laughs> stop thief. Idly and I just got this in the mail today. It supports two to four players, ages 14 and up, and the average play time is 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, as you may have guessed, this game um, has us trying to catch a thief. Each of us has a player that we're controlling. I am blue in this game, and Idly is green. And um, this is our first time playing, by the way, so be patient as we learn everything. But uh, basically, we start off in the center of the board here on this 500 space. And uh, from there, we're going to be moving around, trying to catch a thief. You will need an app in order to uh, play this game. It's the Restoration Games app. You can download it in your app store for free. Uh, you have a choice between Stop Thief and Downforce. Um, we're going to choose Stop Thief here. Um, once that comes up, let me just show you real quick. There's a settings menu in the bottom right. Closed captions, music volume, sound effects volume, credits, exit, and we're good there. Uh, new game, there's Stop Thief and Other Ways to Play. Other Ways to Play has one versus all, cooperative, solo, and retro. Uh, the other modes aren't available yet, uh, whereas retro is uh, the sound rules and interface from the 1979 original uses the new game board. All right, so if we go Stop Thief, the game difficulty is on standard, win by earning enough money to retire. Thief will always go through doors and windows, Thief will never ride the subway, and Thief will never stay in the same place. This app will track where the Thief is, and it's up to Idly and I to try and catch them. Now, it's not a cooperative game. We're not going to be working together. Um, we're going to be trying to catch this Thief and earn money. Uh, basically, the objective of this game is to earn enough money to win. In a two-player game, uh, one of us has to reach 45000 to win. Uh, in a three-player game, it's 35000 In a four-player game, it's 25000 So the gist of the game is move around the board, try and find the thief and catch him, earn money by doing that, and, um, yeah, if you make it to the goal first, then you win. So basically try to establish your own criminal detective business. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> For 45000 I could retire. Get your own office. Well, not nowadays. Not yeah. 45,000 will get you very far. Here's a look at the box insert for those of you curious. And these are the cards that we're not using. Each color, each player gets their own deck of cards. And uh, Idly and I found that they are different. Um, my numbered cards are different than her numbered cards. The number tells you how many spaces you can move. And players move on the empty circle spaces, whereas the thief moves on the numbered spaces. Uh, so this number on the card tells you how much you can move, and um, also if there's an ability, you go ahead and do that. Before moving, get a private tip. Uh, during your move, you may move onto or through window spaces and so on. Normally, players cannot go through windows, but some cards in the deck allow you to do that. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else do we have going on here? On the right-hand side, there's money. Again, we're only going to play, I think, uh, just one game to get our feet wet. So money's really not going to matter. Again, the objective is to, to get enough money to win, but uh, we're just going to do one thief to, to get our feet wet. Mm -hmm. There's the other players of the game there. Um, each thief, uh, we already picked a thief out for our first game, but uh, there's a number of different thieves in here. Uh, each of them have special abilities, like this is while at large. Investigators can't move more than nine spaces. They can still play cards higher than nine, though. Uh, Rob Sherwood, uh, after collecting your reward, choose another investigator to take 2000 from the bank. So, yeah, each one has uh, a different condition associated with it. Okay, so each of us starts with 3,000, but like I said, in this, in this one, one game, we're not going to worry about that. We have a hand of cards here. As we play uh, cards to move, um, they go into a temporary discard pile, and by playing the number two, we can pick them back up. All right, so on a player's turn, uh, what we're going to do, let me put the thief back over here. Um, on our turn, we're going to do these in order. Get a clue. On the app, it says get a clue. It'll play some kind of sound for everybody to hear. Uh, the clue is not a secret, and you can replay it if you need to. Um, that will tell you where they are. Um, if you hear like a window creaking or a window opening or something like that, actually, there's a sound list here. If it's a door sound, it's a creaky door. So if they're on a door space, they'll make a sound, a door sound. Uh, window is breaking glass. So if you're breaking glass, they're on a window. 
uh, which is, this is the door, door window is here. Another thief! <laughs> There's something going on uh, near our location, sorry. We live on a main road, so I can't, but it's thematic, it's really thematic. <laughs> We're using real life emergencies for, for our benefit. I feel really bad. <laughs> It is terrible. Outside a building sound, hubbub. Um, so if they're outside a building, you'll hear people talking, I guess. Uh, subway, muffled speaker. So these are the different subways. There's one in each of the four corners and one in the middle. As a player, we can use it to go to other locations for free, other subways for free. The thief cannot use the subway normally. Uh, inside a building, the sound of footsteps and the crime scene sound, an alarm. And, uh, uh, a uh, a uh, thief can rob again, in which case you add more money to the card. Mm -hmm. But again, we're not going to really worry about that. Okay, um, I think that's it. So yeah, we, we get a clue, then we play a card from our hand, uh, and then we attempt an arrest, which is optional. If you're wrong, you pay a thousand to the bank. Mm -hmm. If you're right, the thief is arrested too. Let's say I was here, well, that's you. Let's say I was here on this empty circle. I could choose 701 or 703, uh, any adjacent numbered space, and then I could type that into the app. If I'm right, the, the app will tell me. If I'm wrong, the app will tell me either way. So you have to be adjacent to it? Yes, you have to be adjacent to that space to make an, or attempt to make an arrest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I, let's go ahead and give it a try. Um, I'm going to try and show you guys the app as much as possible. So, yeah, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and hit start game. The first player is the one who owns this device. Hand this device to them. That would be me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. A crime has been committed in the Museum of Modern Antiquity. Reveal the next thief card. Well, we already did that over there. Uh, that's the Selena Kane thief. While at large, every time Selena moves onto a window space, add 2,000 reward to this card. She starts at 6,000. Okay, so um, she is somewhere, this is the Museum of Modern Antiquity, so she's somewhere in here. So continue. So I get to uh, make an arrest, get a private tip, replay, so I'm going to get a clue. Now she's at the door? That means that she's, that means she's at a, yeah, replay clue. Or not. I'm hitting replay clue and nothing is happening. That's weird. Um, okay, well, I heard a door creaking, so that means she has to be on a door space, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. All right, so from here, in theory, I'm supposed to uh, do a uh, play a card. Now, the thing is, I don't know if she's going this way or this way, or if she's down here or over here on the left. Um, before moving, um, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do this one. Now, I don't know if we have to read this out loud or not. Let's see what this does. Play a card under the table. Um, once you, okay, it stays on the table until an effect lets you pick up. Okay, so I can move three. Now, I don't, it doesn't say anything about... Revealing to other players what this special ability is. But I'll just say it's the number three, and before moving, get a private tip. So if I hit get private tip... Oh, well, that's not working either. Uh oh did it freeze? Um, I don't think so. Let me try hitting get a clue again. Maybe it did freeze. I mean... Maybe, maybe it's the app itself. Let me try restarting the app. And... Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, let me restart the app. In which case, we'll have to get a different location here. Yeah. Not off to a good start game. This is why I don't play a lot of app games, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> it says resume. I could try resume and see if that does anything. Okay, so there's footsteps. Let's just do new game. Stop thief. Uh-huh. The first player is the one who ate a donut most recently. Uh, I guess that's me. Um, Dr. Doyle's Electronics, which is up in the red sector. Okay. So there's some, sh she's somewhere up there. All right, get a clue. That w there we go. Okay, so that, that, that replay clue works. But what the heck is going, okay. 
Uh, okay, so this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like when I hit replay clue, I don't, I'll, I'll take. You can take a look at it. There's footsteps and then a little hand. I think that's the alarm. Like that. That's a little misleading. I guess that's the timeline. And I'm guessing the one on the yeah it doesn't it doesn't really make sense to me. So. All right, so I'm guessing this, the top left one is the most recent. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. All right, so that means that they're at a door somewhere. Mm -hmm. So now my ability is play a card. I'll, I'll play three, and I'll just do... Um, well, it says before moving, get a private tip. So I'm going to get a private tip. This is for my eyes only. Uh, get a private tip. Okay, so it says uh, tap here when done, so others don't see. All right, so let's see if, uh, where would that be? Oh, they don't, they, they could still be inside the building too. Okay, because there's other doors inside. As, okay, so I know where they are right now. Okay, they're there. So tap when done. All right, so from there, um, I get to move my three spaces. Um, let's see, this, yeah, yeah, so one, two, three, so I am here, I am here, mm -hmm. and then, um, after that I could choose to make an arrest if I want to, which I'm not going to. Okay, so now it goes to you, okay. and you get that phone now, and you get to hit, get a clue. Get a clue. Mm-hmm. That means they're walking somewhere. So in my head, like that just means an empty numbered space. Mm -hmm. So I have, there's two places where they could have gone based on the clue that, the private tip that I got. And that would be, let me go ahead and focus the camera on this so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I won't look. No, no, it's okay, you're good. good point. So there's, <laughs> This is that. This is where they were, and it, that footsteps means they're either here or here. They don't. They ignore the circle spaces. That's for us only. So they skip over the circle spaces. They either land on that, that, or that. Now I'm assuming that if they landed there, something else would happen. But uh, yeah, another sound would play. But yeah, let's go ahead and zoom back out. And all right. Okay. So can I get a private tip? Uh, did you play what? First, you have to do, you have to play a card. Oh, I have to play a card. Right. The private tip is for, the private tip is, is, a, oh, is an ability on the card. card. Mm -hmm. oh. So you have to play a move card, and if it has an ability on it. Okay. Um, I will, I will also do a private tip. Okay, so you're going to do a private tip. So you hit the private tip button. And it'll say, do you wish to, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> huh, okay. So you know where he is now. Okay. They just flat out gave me the number. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, I, they gave me the number too, online. Okay. Uh-huh. So. So I have to move now? Yeah, you moved your, your number. Three. So you move up to three spaces okay. on um, the empty circles. So one. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I do? Well, I can't go one, two, three. <laughs> no, you have um, to. Yeah, yeah, yes, two. two. You, and I can't go in the same. Bubble. You you cannot end your turn on me except on a subway. Okay. So um, I'll go this way. But you can skip over me. Oh, I can. I think so, but I don't know if that counts as a space or can not. Can I go through a window? Uh, <laughs> and only if you have a card that lets you. Oh, darn. Um, but then, okay, investigators may move through a space, but they may not end their movement on Oh, no, I can, I can land right here. I'm sorry. One, mm -hmm. two, three. There you go. Okay. There you go. Cool. Um, All right, so you got to make an arrest. No. No, I didn't think so. Absolutely. Because there's no way. Um, so now it's my turn. I'm going to get a clue. Mm. All right, so they're walking again. Um... 
there, again, one of two spaces. Um, I guess I'll just keep this zoomed in the upper right until we decide, because I don't want to... I don't want the viewers at home to go, what the heck? What are they doing? Can he move only once or twice? Once. Oh, just he, once. So he was either there or there, and now they, it, they're either there or there. They can never go back the way they came either okay. uh, on the, the turn prior. So <sighs> I could try. All right, so let's, let's see what card I can play. Uh, it's a lot. Okay. Um, I could... I could try and end the game right now because he might actually be there. But if I'm wrong, then I lose a thousand. So I'm actually going to play the number two card. And at the end of your turn, pick up all your movement cards. So I'm going to do... Um, through the door, one two and now i'm between the 153 and 154 space i have a 50 50 chance of getting this i think because okay. no alarm sounded and unless he can go to, to onto an alarm space but i don't think he can um so i'm going to try to make an arrest and if i do get this right we'll play again because that's not cool um <laughs> so i'm going to type in where i think he is there's a, there's a keypad here uh, uh, uh. And, and let's see if I got it. Dispatching officers. No. Okay, so they are not. Now, do we announce the other players? Let me see. Um, announce the number of the space you think the thief is on. Okay, so announce. I thought it was on 153. Okay. So that's not the case. But now I know where they are. So I have to give a thousand back to the bank. You don't give it to me? <laughs> yes. You wish. All right. But at the end of my turn, I get to uh, put these cards back into my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. But now I know where they are. No, so it's my turn. Now it's your turn, okay, so you so can I get a clue. Get a clue? Okay. They are moving again. I think I know where they are. Okay, so if, if I'm right, they are here. I think. If I'm playing the game right, they should be there. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to move 10 spaces. 10? Okay, go for it. Okay, so I think you can do one. Wait, yeah. Can I, it says the footsteps, the footsteps are the directions, right? You can't go backwards? No, no, the, the footsteps don't matter. Oh, There's okay. no direction. Okay, so. That's just for. Aesthetics, the connect pads. You've got the same idea as me, apparently. Uh, what? I'm kind of wrong. Hold on. <laughs> this uh -huh. is really. Where, where are you trying to get to? Um, hold on. Ah, sorry. You just killed my character. I did. I'm sorry. Was he here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Where traffic is heavy tonight. Okay. I'm gonna land right here. So one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, uh -huh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna try and make an arrest. Okay. Make an arrest. One seventy six. That's that was the other one seventy six. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? How was that possible? Where else would they have gone? I I could have sworn they were there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Um, Can we see the timeline? <laughs> replay clue. All right, so. Um, well. All right, so the first one was. The alarm going off. Wasn't it? Right. The first one was the alarm going off. Okay. Which I got the clue that it was 165. That was my private tip. I'm just gonna say that because okay. I'm now I'm befuddled. Yeah. But um 165 was my private clue, my mm -hmm. private tip. So then that was the door. Mm -hmm. That that's that's the private tip that I got, 165. I knew that's where they where they were. Yeah. So they walked. 
That would have brought them to 166. And my clue was 166. Okay. My private tip. And then one more would have brought them to... 167. Oh! oh so they're 174! I thought they went 166 to 167. I, I forgot that they could go this way. Ah! Okay, let's see if I'm right. Okay. Wait, so he... He actually walked twice? No, this doesn't... At 166, he could have gone to 167 or 176. Okay, that's why I thought he was 176. But there was, there was more than... Okay, this is the timeline, though. Okay, let's see this. All right, replay clue. All right, so here's the... That's the door. Mm -hmm. He was at 165. Okay. Footsteps. That goes to oh. 166. Next... More footsteps. More footsteps. That would have taken him to 167 or 176, which I didn't count on the 176. Then the recent clue, more footsteps. So that was either 167 to 176 or 176 to 174. That's, okay, so if I'm right, then he's at 174. So I'm just going to play this seven to get me over there. Um, so one... Why seven so much? You can go up to seven. It doesn't matter. It's you. You go up to the number. Oh! Oh, I thought you have to be on the exact. No, you get. You go up to the number that. <gasps> so you have up to seven moves. It doesn't matter. It didn't oh. affect you any. Okay. No. So I'm gonna stop there. I'm going to try the. Uh, I, I already played my card, but um, <laughs> well, I, I, let me get a clue. Which it should be. Oh wait, I have to play the clue first, don't I? I don't know. They were at one seventy four. Yeah. Okay, so I, I did that out of order. I was here, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get the clue. They're at 174 now. Get a clue. He probably went through here. Went to the, he's at 183. Yeah. That's the only door within range. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he would have gone through 164 to do it. Yeah. So he's there. Wait, can she. he go Can he go this way? Uh, yeah, he's, he could be at 162 as well. That jerk face. <laughs> Now you have to keep playing. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So it, maybe it's not a lock. Lock in. Okay. So let me let me rethink this. All right. <laughs> let me actually. That's actually works out for me. I'm gonna play. You gotta keep your seven there. Oh wait, no, you don't. I'm gonna play three. Before moving, get a private tip. I'll be able to find out which face he's on. Um, I won't be able to. I may not be able to catch him if he's over there. Well, maybe I could. All right. I'm gonna get a private tip. Yes. Okay, so he's actually there. Okay, I... Yeah, okay. So... Tap one. Done. So that actually works. So I'm going to go... Um, one, two... And then... If this doesn't work, I'm going to be super mad. <laughs> 162. Confirm. You successfully caught the thief. Collect your reward. Did catching this thief earn you enough money to win the game? No, yes or no? Okay. Well, in that, so I should have gotten six thousand. I didn't. There was no windows in that, in that playthrough. So mm -hmm. I should have gotten six thousand from the bank for that. Mm -hmm. um, what are we at now? We're at twenty-three minutes. So if you want to, we can play one more if you feel like it. It's up to you. Okay. Um, no. Okay, so next, okay, so I guess we'll play again. Everyone moves back here. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about the, the money. Um, Do we put our cards back? Yeah, we, yeah, we just reset our cards. Okay. All right, U.S., Trust U.S. Bank, which is this sector here. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over here somewhere. There we go. So the thief is somewhere in that sector. And continue... So I'll let you go first because I won that one. Okay. So you can... If, if, actually, you get to choose. Do you want me to go first or do you want to go I'll first? I'll go first. Okay, go ahead. Because I, I, I think I understand, sort of. Okay. Um, so I put down... No, I put down a card first. And you, no, you get a clue first. You get a clue first. Door. Door. So they started on 467, 475, 473, 445, or 425. Uh, which is these but red... the alarm didn't go off. Right? Well, no, that's the alarm did go off. That initial oh, alarm. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. They robbed something at one of those locations, oh, okay. and now they are they're at a door. Okay. So they could be here, mm -hmm. or here. They're from this spot here, or. Oh wait. 
Yeah, 467. Okay, so that could be a number. Different. That, yeah, that could be any door. Who knows? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm... Okay, so three. Tip. You're going to get a private tip. Okay. That private tip is really powerful. Yeah, it is. I wonder if there's other types of private tips, though. Mm, like... Just that one. Okay, so you got your private tip? Yes, I did. Okay, awesome. And now I move three. And you move three, yep. So you know where they are. So, one... I'm going to jump over. <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three, I guess. Okay. Oh, no, wait. No. Wait, I start here, right? Yeah. One, two, three. These direction of the footsteps get me confused. Yeah, you just ignore the direction. <laughs> just see them as linking two circles together. Okay. That's all. I'll try. Can I take a red marker and just, you know... <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely not. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I will arrest you. Stop graphic. Uh, yes. Uh, destroyer. You, yeah, you are. Not gonna happen. Graffiti artist now. All right. So my turn. I get a clue. Unless you're gonna make an arrest. No. Okay. They're walking. So they they're at a door and now they're walking somewhere and I don't know where that is. So I'm going to. Um. And I'm just gonna play this ten. And get in there. That means they're still... The fact that you went inside means that they didn't go outside. So they're probably still in the building somewhere. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four... They were at a door and went... Five... And... I would stop there. Alright, yeah, I'll just stop there. And I'll just... Well, no, because if they were at a door, well, no, they could have gone from there. To, yeah, I'll stop. And that ends, I'm not going to make an arrest, so that ends my turn. Okay. All right, and then you get to go. So you get a clue. Mm hmm More footsteps. That means they didn't walk through any doors. Wasn't I supposed to put a card down first? No, that goes after the clue. Okay. You get the clue, and then you play a card. Weird. Okay. Well, so that way you, yeah. Alright, so walking. So that was two walks, right? Yeah, two walks. Walk. So that means that there have got to be an area where there's two two black spaces. Oh, man. I have a 50-50 chance of getting it, but if I get it wrong, you'll know. <laughs> uh, well, there's only one other... There's this area which has two black... Like, that's this one here and this one here. So they've got to be in here, here. I'm going to take the chance. Okay. I'm going to play a 10. And 1, mm -hmm. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, wait, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Okay. So you're going to make an arrest? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, 447 or 446? 447. 7. You got him. Good job. We should have drawn a new thief, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. But that's okay. Again, that was just for show. This is when captured. Each other investigator gets 1000 from the bank. Unless it would cause them to win. So I get 1000 oh, from wow. the... So, yeah. So, in addition, you get 10000 I get 1000 from the bank. Mm -hmm. Is how that would play out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so collect your reward. So, what did you think of this game? I mean, it's... I, I personally want a longer, like, I like the little, I like the idea and, and everything, but I wanted a longer, like, instead of it being broken up into a bunch of smaller five-minute heists, like, catching, because mm -hmm. as you saw, like, you got them within two moves. Yeah. I wanted something that would take half an hour to catch, mm -hmm. where it, it'd be a lot more thinking involved, like, I don't know, like... A way to make the game longer, because there's other games like Scotland Yard, which you've never played. Yeah. There are other games like Scotland Yard and Clue the Museum Caper, where we spend 45 minutes sometimes trying to figure out where the other person is. Mm -hmm. This is too simple for me, in my opinion. Yeah. There's, there's too much information 
being given away. But at the same time, it's a cool game for... It's a, it, I think it's a good starter game or gateway game into the genre. Games that would eventually lead to Scotland Yard or yeah. Clue the Museum Caper. We'll have to play Scotland Yard together, Clue, that way you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. That's fine. The, I, I have to wonder if all the cards have that tip. The private tip? Yeah, because well, that's pretty, that, that is pretty powerful. That's what helped me. Uh, gray has it on the three. Uh, purple has it on the three. Um, red has it on the four. Oh. And yellow has it on the two. So they all have a private tip option. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Wow, that private tip is... Yeah, really good. I wonder if... What if we were to get rid of the private tip? Ooh. Then we'd be stuck with... It would definitely go on longer. <laughs> yeah, what if we were to mod it so that don't use the private... Don't We can still move three spaces, but just don't use the private tip. I'm sure that's one of the variants in the coming soon. <laughs> Maybe. That might be, but I think, I think we should try that next, uh, if, if you agree with that. Yeah. That way, it's not as easy to guess where they are. Mm -hmm. um, because all we had going for us was a door and footsteps. Yeah. And the private tip gave too much away. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, we knew. But if we, just, if we just use the sound effects that we hear as the deduction game, I think that would make it a little bit more difficult yep. and make the game last a little longer as a result. And that could lead to a best out of three. Instead of using the money mechanic, best out of three or mm -hmm. maybe in a two-player game, whoever gets 20,000 first wins or something like that. Yeah. So there's, I think this game is definitely moddable. Mm -hmm. As far as the app goes, we ran into, again, we ran into some issues uh, in the beginning of the video. Like it wasn't responsive, but it doesn't seem to have given us any more problems. But not a bad little app. Um, I'm a little disconcerned, though. Well, I don't like that. the whole timeline thing. I wish it was... Uh, yeah, the timeline, yeah. I agree, like, the um, replay, like, this timeline is just... I would have I preferred a numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, that's, 5, 6. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, and then one being the beginning where they started, and then the, the highest number being the most recent. Mm -hmm. Something that's, instead of seeing just a, a timeline, like a snake, I don't like that. I want to see numbered. One is where they started in the beginning of the game. Two is the next. Three is the next. Four is the next. Five. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I would have done. But, yeah. Um, so, would you play this again? I would. Okay. I like it. It's a really cute little deduction. Yeah, it is. One that I think, standardly, is too simple. Mm -hmm. And I would have liked to... I wish those other variants were available. Yeah. That would have been nice. I'm not a big fan of the app integration type of games. Really? With board games. Like, but... I like this one. This one's the, pretty good. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see if there's what are the, what were the other ways to play? One versus all coming soon. Cooperative coming soon and solo coming soon. Weird. Why couldn't you just play solo by yours? I mean, you could play <laughs> solo in the standard rules, and then, and then just time yourself. See how fast you can catch the thief, and then try and beat your high score. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe solo will have that. There's no. Yeah. There's no help there mm -hmm. for that. Okay. Cooperative, maybe that's cooperative with, would without be, the three variant, without the uh, private tip variant. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> that might be it. I'll, I'll be most interested in the cooperative variant myself. Mm -hmm. So there you go, folks. That was a quick look at Stop Thief. Um, overall, not a bad game. I think it was like twenty-five, thirty bucks, something like that, on Amazon. I'm sure the price will vary uh, because Amazon is Amazon. If you guys haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll catch you next time.